What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. Yes, today we have finally a jailbreak that was released that you can use on iOS 15.0 up to 15.3.1 with tweaks. So Pale Rain has been released. The studio is brought to you by Altphone iOS Location Changer, which allows you to change your location directly from your computer to your device. And of course, you can change the speed towards that location and even the vehicle type. It makes your phone believe that you're actually going there. So all the applications based on location on your device will believe the new location, which can help for privacy reasons, games, and so on. So definitely check the program out. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS, and it allows you to change the location even on iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. So Pale Rain Jailbreak, yes, this is basically the very first jailbreak for iOS 15.0 up to 15.3.1. There are some caveats to it and I wrote an article detailing every single caveat of this jailbreak, the biggest one being the fact that it's fully tethered. But if you want a jailbreak right now with tweaks on your Checkmate compatible device, this will work, even though it has some major caveats. So this is basically the very first jailbreak for iOS 15. Now there are two branches of the Pelrain jailbreak, there's the tweaks branch and the rootless branch. The rootless branch supports iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.7, so basically the latest iOS 15 version, but tweaks don't work for the moment, they are probably waiting for libhooker to be updated for iOS 15 before that would work. However, if you want tweaks right now to work, you go to tweaks over here on the branch, and this version, although it supports iOS 15.0 up to 15.3.1, one, this one has tweaks working. However, compared to the rootless branch, this one is fully tethered. Now, I explained in depth the differences between tethered and untethered and semi-tethered and so on here on my website. But in short, the tethered jailbreak means that you will not be able to boot your device even to stock if you use this jailbreak without a computer. So if you install Pelrain, you will get tweaks running and stuff like that. But if your device reboots, you will need the computer and the Pelrain application in order to boot the device. Compared to check which at least allows you to boot the device normally to stock iOS if you don't have a computer. However, Pale Rain would not allow that because it changes the way that the boot process works. The rootless branch that works on iOS 15.0 up to 15.7 does not work like that. This one is semi-tethered like Check Rain, so it would allow you to at least boot the device in stock mode if it reboots. However, tweaks don't work for the moment on the rootless version. So it's important to know that there are two versions of Pale Rain at the moment one with tweaks, one without tweaks, but the one with tweaks is fully tethered and the one without tweaks is currently semi-tethered like check rain, which allows you to boot the device at least in stock mode if the device reboots. Now in the end it's very likely that Pelrain will be developed rootless and once a tweak injection system is updated for the rootless format, they will probably ditch the tethered version altogether. This one is very temporary and only for developers, so it's not exactly a jailbreak intended for the average users, but if you want to use it, you can. It's downloadable right now from here on GitHub on Pelrain and you will be able to run it and of course to jailbreak your device even at the cost of having it fully tethered. Of course this jailbreak only supports supports the Checkmate devices, so basically iPhone 10 and lower, although iPhone 10 is currently not supported, they are working on that, but newer devices are not supported because this is based on Checkmate, just like Checkrain and just like Blizzard. For the Twix variant, the tweaks that currently work are available over here and there's a lot of tweaks currently working. You can see over here, all of these with the little check mark are currently working fine. So while there are tweaks that do not work, there are also tweaks that do work and the community keeps finding more and more that do work. So if you want a jailbreak right now and you have a spare device that happens to be compatible, for example an iPhone 6s or 7 or 7 plus and so on, and you don't mind having it fully tethered at the moment, you can get the tweaks version over here, which of course will work on 15.0 to 15.3.1 and you will be able to jailbreak with tweaks right now. However, if you want to wait, the rootless version is currently also in development, which will support 15.0 to 15.7 semi-tethered, which means you will be able to restart the stock if something happens. So yeah, more information can be found on my article, Pale Rain Developer Jailbreak. I would not recommend this jailbreak for the general public yet. It's a step in the right direction, but of course it has its limitations. However, if you're using a secondary device that you want to jailbreak, you can definitely do so. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.